जी नमस्ते नमस्ते टू एवरीबडी वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन वी सर दैट वी आर डूइंग दीज एक्सरसाइजेज टू डिवेलप आर सेल्फ टू डिवेलप द राइट अंडरस्टैंडिंग विद इन आर सेल्फ एंड टू प्योरिफाई आर संस्कार द एक्यूमुलेटेड फीलिंग्स एंड थाट्स दैट वी हैव गैदर्ड ओवर टाइम एंड विच सीम टू बी ड्राइविंग आर फीलिंग एट दिस टाइम the accumulated acceptances one can say i have accepted something about people about the reality about nature and so on so i believe that that is true but i have not validated it i have not verified it for myself and i continue with that belief so it may be in line with right understanding with my natural acceptance or may not be in line so what to keep and what to discard to purify that to find out what i really need to keep what is right for me i keep that and what is not right for me i discard that to be able to come to know which of my sanskars is right for me which is to be discarded all of this we can uh, do with these exercises so if we see we said that we want to live with continuous happiness with continuous fulfillment and that's why we are doing these exercises so in the five day workshop we talked about this that our basic aspiration is for continuity of happiness and we had come to this conclusion that for continuous happiness we have to develop three things one is right understanding and this is obviously going to be in the self on the basis of this right understanding to have the right feeling and thought so while right understanding is in the b1 block of the cell the right feeling and thought is in the b2 block in the cell so bringing the feeling and thought in the b2 block in line with the right understanding which will come by referring to the natural acceptance and then outside the competence for living with this with the world outside so those these are the three things we have to develop so it starts with the self when you talk of right understanding what is this right understanding is to understand like we say to understand all the levels at which we live so as a human being i am a coexistence of self and body to be able to understand that to be able to understand the family the society nature and all of the existence and this i can do within the self and when i do that when when we have access to the higher activities we are able to see the relationship with all we are able to see the harmony in all units and we are also able to see the coexistence that is there just by virtue of being submerged in space so all this becomes truth or reality or something that we can see directly and therefore then our feeling and thought are now in line with relationship with harmony and with coexistence all this work has to be done within the self now with this when we have to go and live with the world outside this is at the base relationship harmony and coexistence so when it comes to our interaction with other human beings we are looking for mutual happiness we are our behavior is such 
our conduct is such that we are happy within with the right feeling and right thought and with that we help the other we interact with the other leading into mutual happiness similarly when we work with the rest of nature we are able to see our role in working with nature for our prosperity but at the same time we also ensure the prosperity in nature so ultimately we are able to see our role our participation in this whole existence in the entire nature so that there can be happiness and prosperity not just for us but for all so we'll be working on the self first and once we make we are able to set the self right then we can live in harmony with the world outside if we go to try to live with the in harmony with the world outside but the self itself is in disharmony then we are not able to achieve this so our major focus will be on the self so when it comes to right understanding right understanding of all these realities the way it is not on the basis of some assumption or belief that i may have but now to directly observe and see whether it is really true whether it is the way it is or am i believing something which is different from the reality different from the way it is so so our major focus will be on ensuring this right understanding within us and on the basis of it having the right feeling and the right thought having feelings and thoughts of relationship of harmony of coexistence in the self so i think this um we were speaking of yesterday so if we see the process how we are going to go about it if we see what we are going to do in this so when we say we want to live with fulfillment we are also saying we need to see this reality that means we need to understand to understand we have to observe and to observe or to see you have to pay attention you have to be aware you have to be mindful so in the exercises what we are going to be doing we are going to be paying attention so that we can see we can understand and ultimately we can live with that fulfillment so if we don't understand the reality the way it is then we are bound to make mistakes so we many of us you know may have mentioned that the problem is with the relationship with the other person how can we continue with the feeling of relationship when the other is not responding so there also we have talked about this many times that if i can see my natural acceptance my intention i can see the intention of the other also when i do that i can also see that the problem lies not in the intention in the competence now my whole outlook changes if i had believed that the other's intention is wrong then my feeling and thought go in that direction but if i am able to observe my own 
if I'm able to refer to my own natural acceptance, then I can see that this is something that is universal, that is there in all. And that makes all the difference because then my feeling and thought come in line with that. So like that, we keep making mistakes in life and therefore we have problems. So when we want to live with fulfillment, we need to see all of these realities for ourselves the way it is, not just believe in something. So when we are paying attention, we said that there are two aspects to it. One is the object of attention, what we pay attention to. And the other is the process of paying attention, how to go about it, how to pay attention. So coming to the object of attention, yesterday we were talking about um, reflecting on this all day, what were the kinds of things we were paying attention to? Were we, were we able to do this? Were we able to see within ourselves what we were paying attention to? There may be many things, of course. In the course of the day, we must have paid attention to so many things. So what was it that we were paying attention to? Were we able to note down a few things? We are paying attention to many things outside. Sometimes we are paying attention to the inside. We are observing inside. Sometimes we are paying attention outside. So this keeps going on, isn't it? So our object of attention keeps changing. Sometimes outside, sometimes inside, sometimes activities, sometimes what we are thinking, but largely until and unless we pay attention inside, we are kind of unaware of what is happening inside. And we start with just focusing outside, paying attention to the outside, paying attention to the activities outside, paying attention to all that we have to do during the day and so on. So now let us look at for these exercises you know for our fulfillment we want to see we want to pay attention to what so let us look at this now we have to understand all that we are living with so as a human being i am the self and I'm coexisting with the body. Then there is the family. I am a part of the family. I am a part of the society and the nature. And ultimately, this whole existence, I'm living in that. So I need to understand all this. We already said this in the workshop and we mentioned it recently also that existence is in the form of coexistence. It is in the form of units that are submerged in space and the units are of two types, material and consciousness. So really, if you see, there are basically three things we have to understand. If we can understand the self, we can understand the self is a consciousness unit. So we are looking at the consciousness unit. So you can understand the consciousness unit. If we look at the body, if we, if we understand the body, then the body is a material unit. So it helps us to understand other material units. And of course, the third thing to understand, third I shouldn't even say thing, but this is one more thing that we have to understand. This is how the coexistence is there. So the space, which is at the base, which is at the um, 
you know, underlying all of this, these units. So there are three, uh, three things we have to understand. One is the consciousness, that is the self. One is the material unit in the form of the body. And then third is the space. And with that, the coexistence. So this we can do one by one. So in exercise one, we will try to understand the consciousness or the self. In exercise two, we will try to understand the body and how the self interacts with the body and through the body with the world outside. And then lastly, very briefly, ultimately, we have to get to exercise three to understand the coexistence of the space. But before that, we have to develop a lot of competence to be able to see that um, subtler or the subtlest reality of space. So this is what we can see here. Existence is in the form of units submerged in space. The space is all providing. The units are limited. You have material units and you have consciousness units. So an example of the material unit is the body. An example of the consciousness unit is the self. So how to go about seeing this or understanding this? So we'll start with the self because it is the self, it is I who has to see. So I can start from myself. Then I can see myself and my interaction with the body with which I am coexisting. And through the body, I can see my interaction with the world outside, how it is happening through the body. And lastly, we can try to see space, understand space. It will start with being or looking or trying to see this distance that is there between the two units. Right now we focus on the units and space for us is non-existent because we are not able to see it with the gross eyes. Whatever we are seeing with the gross eyes, we are paying attention to that and we are not paying attention to that which we are not able to see with the gross eyes. So we tend to see the units and we tend to see them as separate from one another. And in the gaps between the units, we think there is nothing. Of course, we may think that there is air and all of that, but other than that, we don't see much through that. So it will start by being able to see the distance between the two units and how two units are related, how they are interacting, how you can say there is um, impact or effect of one unit on another, how they're recognizing the relationship, how they are fulfilling this relationship. So all of that we will eventually see but we will start with the self. There is a hand raised, but I'll just go forward a little bit and we'll come back to the questions. So to see or to observe, right? How to go about it. When we are seeing, when we are observing, who is the observer? 
is it the self who is observing or is it the eyes or you can say the body that is observing so if you you know try to see this you will notice that of course it is the self who is seeing who is observing and the body is being used as an instrument as and when required whenever i want to see outside i am using the body like a tool after all what happens when you see something so you'll notice that you are only able to see the form through the gross eyes isn't it if you look at the gross whatever you see outside through the eyes in fact you only see that part of the form which is in front of you so we discussed this earlier like for instance if you hold a pen in front of you you will only be able to see with the gross eyes this part of the pen which is facing you you will not be able to see with the gross eyes the part of the pen which is in the other on the other side but just by seeing this or what we think as seeing ultimately we come to the conclusion that this is a pen how do we do that if we see even through the eyes that reflection that falls on the retina it's an upside down reflection isn't it that image that forms on the retina is upside down so somewhere we are making sense of this and in fact if you see we largely see only the form through the eyes that also we are making sense of this form with the help of the self but as we go deeper we can see much more through the self beyond the form beyond the property of a unit what kind of impact one unit has on another beyond that the relationship between the units beyond that the harmony within this whole nature beyond that the coexistence this relationship harmony coexistence this only the self can see and the self can see directly but we'll come to that so the self is the one that is seeing the one that is observing and it is using the body as a tool as and when required so with this much if there are questions we'll take it so exercise 1 will be seeing the self by the self the consciousness observing the consciousness i looking at i second exercise will be seeing the body by the self so the consciousness or i or the self observing the material the body and not just observing the body but now i'll also you know in exercise 2 we will also go over how we interact with the body and how we interact with the world outside through the body because until and unless i have that clarity about how this whole process is taking place i may be confused and i may mix up the two units the self and the body and i may mix up many of the things many of the activities that i do outside i may not have clarity about them so therefore we will try to do this one by one first observing the self by the self the consciousness observing the consciousness then we'll try to see the consciousness the self observing the body and the interaction with the body and the world outside and then 
exercise three would be about seeing the coexistence, the space. Again, here, I am the one who is seeing. So through the self, one can see the coexistence, the space which is already there. And for that, we'll begin with observing the distance between the self and the body and the relationship between the self and the body. How we are related and how the interaction takes place. So we'll do this one by one as we go along. And um, I think there's very little time. So what we'll do now is we will um, reflect on this for today. Seeing the self by the self. Try to see within yourself. And then see what is going on within the self. Are you able to observe anything going on within yourself? That would be the beginning for exercise one. We'll um, maybe briefly go over this part and then we'll have to close. So if you see you are living within yourself, there is a whole world inside you. If we start paying attention, we will notice we are thinking, we are feeling. All this is going on within. And with this, we are um, living with the world outside. So something is going on inside. And with that, we are also living with the world outside. So this much we'll try to observe today within ourselves that something is going on inside. We may not be paying attention to it, but now if we can start paying attention, some thoughts, something is going on inside. And with that, we are also living with the world outside. And then we'll continue forward on this discussion tomorrow. So any questions so far on this or on the assignment that we're talking about? Uh, Namaste, Didi. Namaste. Um, the question of like observing self by the self. Mm -hmm. um, so mein, uh, the question comes is like, this is a kind of recursing process, right? That you observe yourself what is going inside yourself then you also observe that you are observing yes and this can go for layers and layers right mm -hmm. so how we take care of this recursion <laughs> uh, <laughs> in some sense that um... yes so see there are many activities within the self like we saw isn't it yeah now to see any activity if you are at a distance, you will see it. Hmm. But if you are enmeshed with it, you don't see it. Hmm. Isn't it? Yes. So till we paid attention, we may not have seen anything going on inside. Even now somebody shared, right? That hmm. nothing was going on. Hmm. So if we are not able to pay attention to it or not able to see it, it will look like nothing is going on. But there are these various activities within the cell. And in that, you will notice that expectation part is the grossest activity. Mm. More subtle than that is thought. More subtle than that is feeling. And more subtle than that is your understanding. And ultimately, realization is the subtlest activity within the self. Mm. Now, when we are observing, we are observing from that point of that subtler part, the natural acceptance. Mm -hmm. Then we are able to see these different layers. 
वन बाय वन बट आर कॉम्पिटेंस नीड्स टू डिवेलप टू बी एबल टू सी द सेटलर एंड सेटलर एक्टिविटीज so some of us may be able to see one or two activities some of us may be able to see more activities it will we have to keep paying attention then we can work on it mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. yeah yeah so we'll have to stop here yeah. if there is yeah. further question we can take it up tomorrow yeah sure 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 yeah. thank you thank you so we'll stop here for now and we'll observe this today